right. Hi, Dad. Hi. Thank, thank you for having me on your show. <laughs> All right. So we are currently where? We are at uh, Dana Point, California at our home. And how long have we lived in this home? We lived in this home probably about 25 years, maybe 24. Uh, what about this house made you want to buy it? That's a bit of a long story, but I think the thing that attracted us most, it was a newer home and your mother really was interested in buying a newer home rather than something that might require a little fixing up. Um, she, in her spare time as a regional sales manager, had shopped out this area. We both wanted to be near the coast. We knew that between us. We really wanted that for us. But the main thing is, is we felt that it was affordable within our budget and it was in an absolutely beautiful area. And we had always desired to be near the coast in Southern California. At the time, were you working your other job with IMI PLC? I was. At that point, I had been with IMI PLC for maybe, uh, maybe about two to three years. Your mom and I were married, and we were looking to sort of take that next step to move from a rental situation into, into a home. So you called me in December of last year while I was in London to tell me you had lost your job. How long you, had you been working for them after they let you go? I had been working for them nearly 26, maybe 27 years. I think it was 26 years. Mm -hmm. How did you feel after they let you go after working for them for that long? Um, it was very shocking. Um, I don't think it's easy for anybody to be told that after 27 years with an institution that uh, for whatever reason their services are no longer needed. And you can process that, process that in many, many ways. The way I chose to process it was that, that the company on the whole had been very good to me. I had been very good to the company. Um, I had learned a lot. I had grown a lot. I had met some fantastic people. I had done some really uh, great travel all over the world, worked with interesting customers. Um, so from that perspective, I felt that um, it certainly was a sense of loss for me, and it presented a very, very um, uh, challenging thought about new futures and you know how I was going to build a new future. But um, it, you know, I tried to process it. I'll say in, in, a, in a more productive and positive mindset because it's very easy to allow yourself to go dark on these kinds of things when they happen in life. So while you were unemployed from December to August, um, what was your favorite part about not having work, and what was your least favorite part? That's a great question. So one of the one of my favorite parts was really being able to rise in the morning, uh, even though I'd still get up early because I didn't want to lose that quote unquote habit. Uh, rise early in the morning, have a cup of coffee, and I would sit in the quiet of our house, and I would contemplate things. And I would start by first trying to identify three things that I wanted to be thankful for that I that I felt had happened maybe more recent or even over my life, but things that I could be thankful for. And then I would also take time to read uh, verses from either poems or books that I have on spirituality. And I'm not a deeply spiritual person, but I do believe that taking time to be contemplative and allowing yourself to think through things that normally in your day you're not allowed to think through especially maybe in a spiritual context, is very helpful for the soul. So that was a very, um, for me, that was a great thing because I, in my work life, I never had time to do that. And I wished I did. And there were days where I really could have used that space in my mind and my soul to calm myself um, with all the anxieties and pressures that go on in, in the professional corporate world. So, that really was a, a, a good thing for me, and it was really a luxury for me. Huh. All right, so what was your least favorite part of those eight months of unemployment? Oh boy. Um, I think the least favorite part was the periods of great anxiety as you go deeper and deeper into um, looking for work and not finding things, finding sort of hints or encouragement. 
can be very difficult, um, especially in the time of COVID, because when I did get laid off, COVID hadn't happened yet. And when COVID happened, it turned the world upside down and created tremendous barriers in the job market for even mid-career professionals like myself. And being further along in my career than many, um, there's a price tag that comes with someone like myself. And some companies are less reluctant to hire um, older, more high-priced professionals. But the most difficult thing was really dealing, I think, and processing the sort of job search anxiety that, that is very normal for these types of periods in someone's life. But I also learned a lot about myself in those periods as well and really hopefully have a newfound respect uh, and sense of empathy for others that are coming through similar situations in their life. So Siemens reached out to you in August and offered you offered you a position with the right offered you a position with the light rail team. Sorry, um, how did you feel after receiving that acceptance? And what part about this new job excites you the most? Well, not more than light rail. The company is the Siemens Mobility Division, who specializes in um, heavy heavy transport trains, mainly for people. But yes, urban urban transport, what's known as light rail transport, which is transit trains that move around cities like San Diego, um, and large uh, large high speed trains like the Amtrak Eastern Corridor project. But uh, what attracted me to it was the fact that the industry was entirely different from the industry I came from. Um, on several fronts, it excited me. One, brand new, uh, brand new industry, um, heavy manufacturing, heavy engineering. Um, large contracts, uh, working with a, with a big, well-established company like Siemens to me was very exciting, having that opportunity. Um, the other thing that excited me that it is really uh, in the manufacturing sector, and it's something that's near and dear to my heart. I love being around and watching things be built and, and constructed. And the other part of this, too, was that the rail industry is really a key component, I'll say, in, in, the, in urban, um, sort of the urban transformation that's going on all over the world. Part of the Green New Deal will really be a focus on mass transit, of which trains are a major contributor. So to me, this is really just a, a brand new area and a new opportunity, and that really uh, excited me. So one of the flip sides, um to you having a new job is we are now moving out of our childhood home. You, my mom, and my sister will be moving to Sacramento and I will be moving to Santa Ana. Uh, how do you feel about leaving our home? Well, it's, um, it's a sense of anxiety. I think that anytime when you move from a place that you've raised a family and you've been together in that place for as long as we have, over two decades, um, there's bound to be nervousness and anxiety, but um, all the same, you sort of push off from the shore metaphorically and, and you go out into the wide, you know, the wide unknown, the blue yonder, so to speak. And What are you most looking forward to about moving to Sacramento and what will you miss the most about living in Dana Point? Mm, the thing I'll miss the most about living in Dana Point is surfing. I've grown up surfing. It's something that I love to do. I, as you know, I do this with your mother. Your mother is an, is an avid surfer. Um, we love the ocean, we've always enjoyed it, but at the same time we understand that um, this is really a new chapter. It's not that we won't miss surfing, we will, but we know and we are excited about finding new things to do up in the Sacramento area. So we will miss that, that quite a bit. I think we will miss some of our friends and neighbors, um, but I'm confident that we will find new friends and, and uh, of course neighbors as well up in Sacramento, and I'm excited to get to know some of my uh, new work colleagues as well. And we'll be closer to other members of our family because we have quite a few of our family, extended family, up in the Northern California Bay Area region. So that would be good. Okay. Are we still on film? Yeah. We are? <laughs> Is this a cut? Is it going to go in? Yeah.